Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, warm up. Uh, it's very important that you always warm up before every exercise routine that you do. Uh, nice 10-15 minute uh, warm up is all you need to warm up the muscle groups that you're going to be working. 95-98% uh, of the time I always use this particular warm up routine. Uh, you know, it, it works the shoulders, it works the chest, it works the legs, it works the calf. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a real good all around uh, warm up. It's easy. Uh, you don't need anything hard before you start working out. You just want to warm up your muscles so you don't injure them. It's also very important to do uh, post exercises after you finish your your exercise routine. Uh, that'll help you so your muscles don't tighten up on you. It'll help you stay flexible. It'll help you so that uh, you're not so sore the following day. So it helps your recovery, it helps everything. You don't wanna stop your exercises cold turkey. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a nice uh, little routine that you can do. And you can do this before every workout uh, that you do. Um, like I said, it's something very simple. You don't wanna stretch too long. You stretch too long, you injure yourself. Uh, when you're doing your actual strenuous workout routine. So it's just a very light uh, stretching of, of different parts of, of, of your body. So anyway, let's get started. All right. So now we're gonna start warm, our warm up. Okay, here we go. This is the very first one. Okay. So we're gonna start with torso rotations. Torso rotations is going to warm up our core, it's going to warm up our arms, it's going to work up our waist. So we're going to do 30 to 40 of them, okay? I'm going to do 40, okay? So here we go. good now we're gonna do chest openings for chest openings we're gonna do like a front lunge and we're gonna just reach out with our arms and we're gonna take in as much air as we can as we go in and then come back up and do the other one. we're gonna do eight to ten on each side um, I'm gonna do ten okay so here we go Reach back as far as you can. You're opening your hips up, opening your chest up. This is 16 right now, which would be eight on each side. So that's 20 or 10 on each side. Very good. Now we're gonna go on to what they call step back and reach 
All right, on the step back and reach, what you do is you do the same thing, 16 to 20. I always go with the 20, so that would mean 10 on each side. And on this, what we do is we step back and we reach up as high as we can with our arms. So, in my little tiny office. So, I'm only five foot seven, but my ceiling is low. I like it, because I feel like I'm really tall. <laughs> anyway, step back and reach. You alternate feet each time. So that would be one. Two. Six. Seven. That's eight. stretches are really good because they really loosen you up like right now I feel really good all alongside my hips my back everything is starting to feel a little bit looser which is what you want you don't want to be you don't want to stretch too much because then you are prone to injure yourself through your workout if you overstretch you can leave overstretching till after your workout but before a workout you don't want to get too carried away with it or you can actually weaken yourself for when you're going to do your strength exercises therefore causing an injury okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do it's called a squat and reach and we're going to do 20 of them you can do 16 to 20 i choose 20. all right so you keep your feet about shoulder width apart on squats, remember something. You're always pushing with your heels. Try to keep your back as straight as possible, okay? And you wanna, you almost are trying to hold the ball of your foot up. You're trying to almost like, trying not to rest on the ground as least as possible. That way you're actually doing the correct form for your squat and you're not overworking your back. You know, you're keeping your body as much in line as you possibly can. All right? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go to squat, and then on my way up, I'm gonna reach up to the sky, and I'm gonna pivot and get up on my toes, like that. Okay, each time I come up, and the next time when I do the squat, I'm, when I go up, I'm gonna come this way. All right? So we're gonna do 20 of these. Ready? Here we go.
16. I'm going to go to the side so you can have an idea what it looks like from the side. That's 20. This is nice because it works, starts getting a little pump on your legs. You know, you're working your shoulders because you're pressing up. You're stretching yourself all through your hips, you know, your waist. So this is a really good, really good exercise to warm up. All right, now we're gonna do the heel dig and bow, okay? So the, for the heel dig and bow, it's, uh, I guess, kind of, it's kind of awkward when you've never done it before, but it's a really nice stretch also. Uh, stretches your calves, you know, your, your back. A uh, little bit awkward, but very good. So uh, here we go. For the, what I do with this one, I kind of do with the camera this way. I kind of get off to the side like this. I put my heel on the ground and just try to drop myself just a little bit. I try to keep my knees straight. I bring my toes as close as I can to me. Almost like if I'm trying to point at myself with my toe. And then that's it. You don't want to overstretch that. It's just, I took a little bit longer that time just to show you. But you'll see, it's, you know, just a couple seconds. You get down there, you get comfortable. You don't want to overstretch it. You know, you'll see. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, 20 of these, okay? 10 on each side. Now I can feel it stretching my calf. I can feel it stretching all my ham, you know, hamstrings. That's all you need. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. It looks awkward, but it's good. That's 20. All right, so that's that. Got a nice little pump on my calves, hamstrings. Got a nice little stretch on them, back. So we're doing good. Now, the last and final for our warm up and stretch is almost like if you were gonna kick a football. So we're gonna step forward we're gonna kick, okay? We're gonna kick as high as we can. Uh, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do 10 on each side, 20. You wanna do eight on each side, do 16. Try to do that as a minimum. Uh, and that's a really good one too because it really does a lot of stretching on your, on your hamstring. Also pulls on your back, stretch it really nice. So it prepares you for 
the workout that you're about to do. All right, so here we go. Step up, kick. Step up, kick. That's it. We are done. So that was it for the warm up, guys. Uh, now take a little short break and you'll be ready to get started with your uh, regular exercises. Uh, you can go to my next exercise, which uh, we'll be starting here in another uh, post, or you know, do one of your own. But that's at least that's a good warm up for any exercise you're about to begin. So anyway, guys and gals, I hope. Uh, the warm-up was of help to you and uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell there and make sure that uh, your post you know your you know when there's a new post that has been added all right see you next time take care <laughs>